Well, not a lot of time has passed. At least game time. It's literally been a week. It's been about two hours. I've been spending a lot of time scouting and looking at players who are available. Um, the fact that we're limited to one country makes the scouting a little bit easier. But at the same time, you're competing with other teams, including better teams from outside of the country for some players' services. It just makes the job a little bit harder. So we have a couple of options out there for the moment when it comes to players in certain positions. Um, if that's the case, if that's the case, it's going to be the best available option. I found a really good winger for the right I would like to bring in. He's a little bit older and he's better than the younger wingers we have right now but it would let me get a rotation going where he would start one game and maybe a younger player would start the next game or I would rotate the younger players on sort of thing. Um, he just wants 3000 a week to come here, which isn't out of our salary requirements. It's just more than I've ever paid anyone else at the moment. So for the time being, what we are going to be doing is putting players like Ilyeski on the bench, and the idea is to bring him in at the... 70th minute mark just to get him some playing time um other players we're going to be looking at doing that with are probably boban tisevsky we just want to make sure we're not leaving ourselves open anywhere else i want to bring Krasky on so there's a couple teams that keep going after matthew bosnovsky and like, no and they've, they've added some future transfer fees as well. But it's like, if I can re-sign him again, I will. This is what I should probably do sometime between this game and the next game. So we are in Iceland to start. Nikolev, knocked away by Wisdom. Kajufi's going to run it down, I hope. Does. Gets the ball to Boznowski. Back to Ristoff. Boznowski, Jankalov, Ristov, to the other Boznowski. Ananov, Marani, Kajupi, out to Tosevsky on the left. Itch on my leg. Sorry, Tosevsky. Pulls it up, gets it to Kajufi, Marani. Back to Tosevsky. He crosses it, but too far. Ristov to Jankalov. Jankalov to Nikolev. Back to Jankalov. Back out to Mandovsky. He feeds Nikolev. Marani is there, his third goal of the season. That took some doing, but the end result was worth it. Crick in my neck. And getting older is a pain in the butt sometimes. But if that happens, you got to go see a doctor. Nice goal by Marathi. Looked like uh, the keeper neoed his way out of the way so he wouldn't get hit by the ball. Coming up on halftime, that was the only highlight so far? Was Okay, I spoke too soon. Einerson. Bangs at four. Bazinski to Marathi to Ananovsky. Back to Bazinski. Nikolev to Ananovsky. Back to Bazinski. Out to Tosevsky. He one taps it up to Gajufi. To Marathi. Gajufi cuts back inside. Bodic. Nikolev takes the shot. That was an interesting... Karim. Jankalov heads the ball back to Gusevsky. He holds it up. Marathi heads the ball down to Gajufi. Gajufi has help. He had help. Nikolev heads it, but it's wide right. And that is halftime with a 1 0 lead on 10 shots, 5 on target. To their 3 and 2. We're better in tackles. We're better in headers. We can keep this going, I think. The away goal is very nice. Magasin just bangs it up. I don't know what's up with that. Kosevsky makes an acrobatic stop that wasn't really required. He bombs it forward. Bodic somehow manages to get ahead on it. Wrist off. Oh, a very nice save by the Bielder, uh, Breedelbach. Keeper. So we're about 60 minutes in. We're going to make at least one sub for the moment. And that is going to be Jankalov is going to come off and Barty is going to come on. 
And we're going to get Tisevsky off and bring on Ilevsky. Nikolev, Wozniowski, and he hits it over the crossbar. Barty, Nikolev to Ristov. Nikolev, Wozniowski to Andonovsky. Wozniowski out to Ilevsky. Too much dwelling on the ball. Wozniowski, Kajufi, Ilevsky, Marati, Kajufi to Ilevsky. To. What are we waiting on exactly? Wozniowski, Andonovsky. Nice side foot pass. Marati, Nikolev. Kajufi? Oh, nice shot by Kajufi. Something came up about someone being injured, maybe. We'll take a look at that here in just a second. Nikolev, a very nice pass to Kajufi. And a very nice finish. Well, Lazy was injured. Well, Ristov picked up a red. So we are going to bring on Ilyeski. So you get a young player, 15 to 20 minutes. He gets a rating. He he gets improvements. You got to remember, hit confirmed and hope that he comes on before the actual time kicks over. Barty, Andonovsky, Bodich feeds Marati, gives the ball away. Navarro picks it up, gets it back to Einerson. Einerson. Now oh, Barty heads it down to Nikolev. Out to Ilyaski. Drops it off to Nikolev. He feeds Marati. Marati takes a shot from distance and scores. That was nice. Wow. 3-0 on away goals even. This is a bit unexpected. I would say from a quality point of view, we're probably pretty evenly matched. But Marathi with a brace of goals now. He's probably close to dying because he's at 50%. To Manjukov, who gives the ball away. Body to Oleski. One touches it up to Vodic, who gets Marathi. And he oh, had the hat trick in his eyes and pushed it wide left. And that is the game. A brace of goals by Marathi. A goal by Gajufi. And we come away with a 3-0 victory. 24 shots, 13 on target. We absolutely shut them down. Let's save the game here real quick before anything happens. Marathi's been a very good pickup for us. And Danofsky's out the next match because of too many yellows. It's a risky take, though. Maximum of zero foreign players. So we got Skopje in the league which we're going to skip, and we'll come back for Brita Balk. So, you know, it's early enough in the season. If we get a loss or a draw, I'm not too worried about it. It's how we do towards the middle of the season and the end of next and the end of the season that I'll be worried about. As long as we finish top four going forward, I am okay with that. So, part of me wonders. We took a, we took a look playing Brita Balk. I thought at one point in time we were playing, if, if we beat them, we'll go to the playoffs. I thought at one point in time we were playing Gardens or Salzburg. Did I read that wrong somehow? Now it says we're playing Copenhagen or Ludogorets? No, it's Copenhagen or Pagan. Okay, we'll be back with our second match in just a bit. Well, we beat Skopje thanks to a brace of Vodish goals and a Marathi goal. It was 3-0 at the half, and they really didn't try the second half. The good news is we had 7,500 fans there, which I'm really liking. Uh, we had 13,000 at home for Jagardens. We had 13,000 at home for Valencia. Uh, TNS and La Fioretta were on neutral sites, so I'm hoping we have a good crowd today i have made a couple of signings but because those guys aren't eligible for the game today i'm not going to go over them i also believe the transfer window is going to be closing here soon in a little bit anyways so around that time is when i will introduce you to them today we're going to have gasevsky and goal tosevsky barty bosnowski and jankalov are going to be the defensive four in the backfield, Vaj is going to be the ball-winning midfielder. Marathi and Masevsky are the uh, midfielders. Amini and Ristov are the attacking mids. And Vodic is up top as the striker. Amini, he wants to be a winger, not a, an inverted winger. So I I like our chances today. The fact that we're 3-0 up 
doesn't hurt us, but at the same time, I'm, we really have to fall off for it to uh, affect us. So and if we carry on like we did last game, we'll, we'll definitely do well. Ristoff. Misevsky heads it away to Sevsky. Gets the ball to Marathi. Misevsky. Crosses it in. Misevsky's there and he scores off the header. His first of the season. That was nice. An early goal to set the table. Very nice. A good header by Misevsky. Ristoff to Misevsky. Back to Ristoff. Out to Jankalov. Jankalov holds it up to Misevsky. Back to Jankalov. Misevsky. Jankalov is paying back and forth. Ristoff takes a shot. Can't get a can't get it past the keeper. The keeper was still on the ground as the ball bounced up the air. Vodic had an easy header. Oh, the defender hit it up in the air, and the keeper dove to block it. And as it was up in the air, Vodic just headed it in. You can't go wrong there. We'll praise the guys. Oh, nice save by Kasetsky. There is a young Macedonian keeper by the name of Riste Grozdanovsky, who is at Man, who was at Man United, and he graded out Amini driving forward. He graded out really well. He looked really good. Like like he could be better than Kasetsky in the long run. And they let his contract lapse. And I went out and I signed him. I was going to pay him a decent amount of money, too, to come in. And he ended up going on trial at Middlesbrough and then signing with them instead. And Amini just went out injured. Okay, we're going to have to switch the formation up and bring on Tosevsky. What the heck happened there? Amini's injured. Ristoff can't play the left. He can play the right. Belize can play the center. Ilyovsky can play just the right. Salievsky can play just striker. Even though Elise can't play it, do we lean on him just keeping it? I think we'll just trust him to do a job there. I mean, we're five goals up. All he has to do is not make any horrendous mistakes. A good half for us. We are doing brilliantly. Keep it going. I'm going to make a couple changes here in a little bit. Marathi's. Getting down to 60%. Masevsky. Marathi gets the ball to Elise. Elise feeds Vodic. Vodic takes the shot. A very nice save by Einerson. Elise. Oh, Ludvigsen heads the ball away. Goes in for a Vardar throw in. Okay, we're going to get Marathi off. For Tosevsky. Didn't want to do that. Gislason. Back to Helgeson. Tvinkov. Oh, he's dispossessed. Misevsky. Some of these names are just so freaking long. You have it. Oh, 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 oh. Vodic. Wow. Holy cow. What a good set of moves by the youngster. Jankalov dispossesses the... Breivik player, Misevsky sends it forward. Vodic holds it up. Breivik player tries slide tackling him out of the way. Instead pushes the ball to the left. The keeper came out and Vodic just towed it over him for the third goal of the game. Gilson. Oh, they got to go back. Ludwig's in off the header. Barnison, Jankalov knocks it away. Ristoff can't get to it in time. Einerson to Thorvaldson. Einerson. Sventhorsen. Gerlison. And they get a second one. Holy cow.
What the heck is going on here, guys? Look, I need you. What happened to the concentrate? Oh, focus. Focus, people. And we win. We beat Breidelbeck 3-2, winning 6-2 on aggregate. What does that mean? Receive 235,000. We get Pogon in the Euro Cup. They're a Polish squad. 433. Zahovic. Three goals and eight appearances. Kuhn. Seven goals last season. Marcos to Picha. Wow. Print to feel up with Costas Triniata Philopoulos. Greek or Cypriot? Greece. Bodic was on fire. Really pleased with how he played. Do the press conference here real quick. Picture rearrangements. Hogan at 822. Is that literally a week from now? Literally a week from now. With Scoopy in between. Okay, let's save this real quick and we'll take a look at something here. Save game. Okay, European Champions Path. So we're going to playoff so even if we lose we're going to the euro cup the euro cup two group stages so we've still got more european football ahead of us that is just wild man we're going to be playing a lot of games this season good grief but a very good series against britabek winning 6-2 on aggregate a very nice win against Skopje in between thirteen thousand fans in the stadium that's very nice it's still only a third full but it's very nice We've got Gostovar coming up. So I'm going to have to fix the training. And then, you know what? We're going to come back for our Euro Cup first playoff leg match. Our Euro Cup, oh, good grief. Our playoff match against Pagan. So that's going to be that's going to be interesting. So, and I may actually have a couple of new guys on the squad by then, too. That'll help. I, I've left this kind of weak in a couple of areas, and that's my own fault. But going forward we should be okay so that said if you did like what you've seen out here please hold like subscribe to the channel for more content questions criticisms comments leave those down below i will answer those as fast as i can my name is fm Jellico. i thank you for watching <laughs>